Hello and welcome to the Profile Noob and welcome back to Finance and 3. When we last left off, we had just completed Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the free night combo, leaving Thursday night 4 left. So we head back into the charred remains of the end of court facility. Don't lie to me, Dad. I saw everything. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, because this, this, this is after the incident. Emily, I, I'm sorry you went through this. So in case you missed it, I said, I'll explain I'll explain after the continents. He told me he was scared. I kept insisting. Yeah, nah. Emily's definitely traumatized. Emily, no, this is not your fault. I already told you. She's not going to believe it, Chief. I don't care how he looks. I just want to see him. That will make everything worse. His parents are in there. I'm taking you home. God. Dad, what what did I do? I, I feel sick. Yeah. No wonder. So essentially, you are not ready to accept. We still don't get our gift, goddammit. We still don't get our gift. Actually, I have to wait till phone guy. I have to wait till phone guy talks as well. This then we can get our summary. Just took an edible, like. Whoa! Okay, phone guy. Good on you. That's not very professional of you. I found the old files mm. in my. Mm-hmm. Uh, old files. Had, had them locked up. And They're probably important. I mean, it's just kind of hard to believe, you know. Yeah, fair enough character being involved in some brutal accident like, yep we like highlighter blocking all the good stuff out but ah, i got the got the redacted in there was kind of that was probably was that was our fault it definitely was a crime i have a lot of questions technically fuck when i get home yeah no that's fair well, he always dodges we'll, my questions about this thing you know no, the, I, but with these files i don't know why I he would tell I you a lot hand, honestly right? am i right mm. okay i think i'm getting maybe there. I'm getting there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say that. Too. Go ahead, fun guy. He said a lot. So, More oh, than dragon's moving. He even says to me normally. Oh, interesting. Okay. Shit, I mean, maybe you should just be his kid. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling great. My stomach hurts, my head hurts. Oh, poor fun guy. You it's... really shouldn't be getting high on the job, but who's gonna fire me? My uh, dad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he will. Probably, I'm actually. Put a padlock on his door and go to sleep. Good Don't night, do that. Emily. You do Emily stuff. Thanks, fine guy. Legendary as always. So fine guy, well, fine guy was getting high on call, which is excellent of him. Very professional. He's. I have a feeling that's going to end badly because his whole job is to put a lock on the door. It is to watch like an abandoned animatronic that he's safeguarding, and he just put a lock on the door and expected that to do its job. Our boy Dragon is gone. People are going to move in. Vents, we just want to watch out for static or very loud. We good? We good? We good, are we? I think we're good for the moment. We're chilling. We're vibing. No one's got us yet. It is two. Vent. Oh, you both moved. God, at the same time. That almost... <laughs> that got me. Oh, hi there. Hey, bro. Let's turn on that gate, will you? Will, will we? You back off, will Let's just, just go away. Be gone. Get out of here. Okay, you're good. Go on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I think that's the bear. This is the bear of the beaver. Hey, bro. Mask. Mask. Go for the mask. I can't get the mask. I can't grab the mask. There we are. Oh, no. Uh, we got we to gotta crank up the vents. Hi. We're getting the temperature up. Oh, no. Did he... Did we fail that? No, we succeeded. We're good. Okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, we can turn that down before we... We overheat and die. I think he's gone. Did he disappear? Is that Van Guy? That was Van Guy. Good. Um, please get that temperature down. Thank goodness we're not going to die of hypothermia. That's what we like to see. Ballerina is going to move in a second though, so we've got to be careful. So yeah, essentially, we play as Emily, and we're finally we're finally getting to the summary. <laughs> About three hours into the night, we're going to summarize it. Uh, we play as Emily, and what we've done is we've accidentally killed our friend. Uh. I can't remember his name. Was it, it wasn't Franklin. We killed our friend, and he's dead. It wasn't our fault, though. It was actually the fault of our dad, because he sabotaged the animatronic, because he's actually, like, the business partner of the... like the, Him and Phone Guy's dad are business partners, and he felt bad that he wasn't being included in, like, the business stuff. So he essentially sabotaged the animatronic to make things go wrong, and then we were like... Oh, no, it's Billy. Billy's the name of the kid. I think it was. I'm going to get that wrong. I mean, it's not Billy, is it? I just guess that. But essentially, what the deal is, animatronic goes wrong, kills Billy, and we're, then we're essentially traumatized for life because, you know, we've just killed our childhood best friend. Um, and that ain't good. 
That, that's quite bad, actually. So now we're back here in the Endercorp facility, which is now burned down. Uh, everything is charred and broken after the events of game two. And we have to deal with, you know, these haunted things coming after us. Okay, so he's actually pretty generous when it comes to comes to moving in. Uh, uh, the Ven 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 animatronics are pretty more generous than I was expecting. I thought they'd be pretty brutal. I thought they would like, you know, if you don't have if you don't have it up to a hundred by the time they show up, you die. But no, they're actually they're pretty lenient, which is very nice of them actually. I've got to thank them for that. So we'll crank that. Whoa! There you are. I was waiting for everyone to move. So you're gone, I think. Yep, you're good. Cool that down before I overheat and die. One of you two is going to move. i have got to be careful. You've got to be careful not to slide too far with the mask. It's very easy to miss it. Ah, uh, yep, that's cooled down. Lovely. You're fine. It's just the mask. One of you's got to make a move soon. I know you want to. There you are. Hey, bro. Hey, dragon. Hey, dragon, pal. Are you gone? Now it's the ballerina time. You might make it. She's, yeah, she's definitely going to move in before... Before midnight arrives. Both the animatronics are turning up in storeroom up top there. I thought they were. What? You were up there. I know you could actually move that far. I thought we were friends. And the shadow entity is watching us. Oh yeah, we also have this strange shadow entity that wants to give us a gift. Uh, that we're not worthy of yet. Which is a bit mean of him, actually. You, you keep moving. Please, please, I beg you. Stop moving. I get it. I get it. You want to be spooky. You want to be scary. Oh, hey, bro. God, everyone's moving. Oh, God. That's not good. i got to turn up the temperature. Go away, please. We might die here. This might be the end. She's not backing off. Oh, what? When you tell everyone you are what... Tell them why you are what you are, they'll truly hate you. Do we make it to... Is that the end? Do, do, we, do we beat the night? I think we beat the night. Your dad says... Your dad says it was an accident. He's a liar. It was you. Ten on a technicality, it was. On a technicality. I'm wondering who the hell is that animatronic in the background? Is he the one that that killed they killed Billy? Yet yeah, they all think they know they don't. You're a liar. That's a bit mean, isn't it? You cut them open all over again. Holy damn. Okay. Okay, animatronic. Why won't you just die? Because we're too good. That's why. We're too good at this game. Liar, 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 liar. We're gonna get that gift. 6 a.m. Booyah! We did do it. I thought we I thought we were dead. Wait, I think I need to check. Was it Billy? I probably got it wrong. Her friend. Unless you get that name. Wait, it doesn't, it doesn't even give us our name. His name. We need his name. Animatronics. God damn it. Doesn't Donovan! His name was Wait, no, Donovan's our dad's name. Okay, I can't remember the name of our friend. I, f I feel terrible giving you know he was a friend. But we have Friday left. I literally I'm pretty sure Dylan! It was Dylan. Why did I say Billy? It was Dylan. It was Dylan. It's been three months, Dylan. Three months since I technically killed you. I promised we would always stay close. Oh, you're close right now. I broke our promise. I'm a liar. <gasps> oh my goodness. Our parents hardly talk anymore. Is Dylan the shadow animatronic? I think I need to stop coming here. Booyah. There we are. Dylan's the shadow animatronic. It hurts. I hate it. I hate me. Oh, poor Emily. Why won't I die? Oh, it's like the, it's like the, it's like her, her agony being infested in the, the shadow. Oh, more lore. Accident. That's what your parents say. That's what his parents say. But you know it wasn't. Well, so it, it technically was an accident, though. You killed him. Um, okay, technically. Technically, that's right. We technically did. But I feel like you loved him. Oh. I feel like, so I feel like the main villain of this is the manifestation of our guilt. Of, Dil of killing Dylan. And you killed him. That's the whole gist here. That we've, we've sort of... That, that's the, what the shadow entity represents. That's why we can't accept the gift. Because we haven't got over... He loves you too. And you killed him. We haven't got over the fact that it was an accident. We called ourselves a liar. 
Everything is better without you. <gasps> Dylan. Dylan. You are not ready to accept that. That actually kind of got me for a second. I wasn't expecting him to move forward. Phone guy, I need your help. Oh no. Why is the... Kennedy. Why is the map like oh, that? My Holy, dad. Yep. Told Did me you, everything about my older brother. What happened to the map, chief? You know, I knew he died. But, mm -hmm. like, the way he died... He never oh, so you are the brother of, uh, of of Dylan. Cool. My mom didn't either. Oh, phone guy's gonna hate us yeah. now. Phone yeah. guy's gonna he's gonna hate us. He's gonna set the animatronic I'm gonna, I'm gonna free. Leave this message and then leave. I, I have a That's lot to fair. About, but Go do that, Chief. Are you sure you want to be here? I don't know at this My point. Parents, they said they were mm -hmm. broken for a really long time, but they're okay um. now. Well, that's good. Not completely, but well, that's less good. Slightly, personally, I, slightly I don't worse, think actually. They're Ever gonna be okay? I don't, I don't know the right word. Haunted by haunted? this. Haunted. That, that good word we're this? being haunted by this by a shadow entity. You know, despite everything. And probably is <laughs> your your dad. He did. Hmm. He did a your horrible dad? thing, but who said that? It, it was an accident. Jk. Get that right. Yeah. No, I, we don't. We don't. Whatever you think you that's did. the thing. It wasn't our fault. It wasn't your fault. Say booyah, but we do think that, and I that's our problem. Oh, the goodbye, fun guy. Well, you know who, don't you? Yeah, it's gonna be the one. It's the one that Emily, killed Dylan. Stay away from it. It's just How a machine. We? So we're gonna have Old, to broken machine. Sheen. It doesn't even function. No, it's gonna be. It's gonna be haunted by Dylan. It's haunted. I, I think I'm gonna quit. That's a wise choice, fun guy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what you're gonna do either, They're but I'm glad you're not dying. On some mega pizza plex. Oh Maybe my I'll goodness! Got a job there. Dylan, I Dylan, Dylan, security like breach. Years. Let's go. I'm Was rambling. actually. Good night, Emily. I'll see you tomorrow. Can uh, Can you promise me that? Oh, we will, fun guy. Again. They won't forget. They won't forget. No, they. They're not gonna forget, but we're gonna change the fact. I knew we were gonna have a boss fight. Let's go. I knew it was gonna be a boss fight. It's a boss fight against a shadow entity. This is what I'm after. Booyah. So the map is utterly destroyed. We've just got our sights to defend ourselves against. Hey, bro. Because we refuse to. We don't deserve to die. God damn it. I'm gonna stick it to the, I'm gonna stick it to the shadow entity so hard. I ain't gonna know what's gonna happen. Oh, hey, bro. You, you, you look at. Oh, god damn it. Press the wrong button. Please tell me that wasn't enough for you to kill me. I think we're good. That's 100 degrees. Yes, the map is entirely pointless now. It's, it's a jumbled mess. But now we have. Where the hell did you go? What? How do we get him? Hmm? I actually don't know what happened there. Or what you're saying. Someone- Oh, hi there. Because we don't deserve to, God damn it. Dylan wouldn't want us to. That's the- It's a- This is for Dylan, God damn it. Oh, hi there. God. So yeah, we're literally fine off a shadow manifestation of the animatronic that we accidentally used to kill our friend. That is the coolest boss battle I've ever seen in a fan game. And we're doing it right now. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, it's just, it's so cool. And it's all the, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of spooky because it, the, the, the real monster is, is, a, is our own guilt. Because I don't, I don't think, I don't think, oh, it might be, it might be a mix of both. It might be a mix of both, like the paranormal, you know, aspect. But I think the main reason, whoa, you're appearing multiple times. You are cloning yourself. That's illegal. You can't do that. You cannot. That it, it's not good to clone yourself. It leads to various health problems in your future. I wouldn't recommend it. This could be bad for both me and your health. And then what are you gonna do then? You can't clone yourself anymore. Oh, there you are. Hey, bro. I love. I love when he. I, he he's kind of. He's kind of spooky, but I love when he sticks his head out of the vent. It's. It's kind of goofy. But it's, it's so good as well, because oh, I love that. I love that he has different poses as well. He can actually, you know, he's got two office poses, two, two hallway poses. 
Always like, always I'm in that variation. But yeah, we're gonna survive this night, goddammit. We're gonna make it through to the end. Cause that is what counts. We're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna do this for Dylan. Cause Dylan. We did. We, did. Him. we technically also did. But it was an accident. Actually, no. No, we didn't. We didn't technically. We didn't kill Dylan, goddammit. I'm not, I'm sick, I'm sick of agreeing with this darn shadow entity. We didn't kill Dylan. And that's that. It was an accident. If anything, it was technically our dad's fault. Which doesn't make any anything better. But... Because... Because Shadow Entity... I'm a FNAF fan game player. Dying is my... Dying is my least favourite thing in the world. You know? FNAF fan game players actually die statistically less often than everyone else. And it's just, that's just true facts. One way to extend... Top 10 ways to extend your life life expectancy. Play for FNAF fan games. Hi there. Because we're not going to, Chief. We got six minutes left of the night. Six minutes to beat you. Like right now. Booyah! 6 a.m. Oh god. Oh, we have the bonus content. We have the ending as well. Saturday Max AI. Okay, we'll check out the ending first. I thought the ending is the... Ending, ending makes the most sense. So Saturday was actually added in this update. There it is. There's everyone. There's also... Is that the cutscene? Wait, did something happen? Do we move? It's just a... Wait, is that, is that moving or am I going insane? Nope. Just a photo. Do you think you're ready to accept? I am. I think we are. You didn't do anything, Emily, because we accepted the truth. This is Dylan speaking. Yes. I love this. Let's go. We accepted because we finally accepted the truth. That we didn't do anything. It's okay. Shatter. But don't throw... Oh, it's, a, it's okay. Shatter. But don't throw away the shards. Don't forget. Maybe one day you can see that? It's got to be Dylan speaking to us, surely. Emily, you're... A, you're keeping alive. You're keeping me alive by blaming yourself for something you didn't do. Yes, yeah, it's Dylan. It's gotta be. It's the spirit of Dylan. You're worth so much. You're worth so much, but you can't cling to me like this. You're hurting both of us, because we promised him we wouldn't leave him. You can start with this. The gift. That's ours. What's gonna be in the box? I look so different, but so do you. Oh, it's the birthday gift. It's the birthday gift. Oh, it's the birthday gift. I was worried you wouldn't recognize me. Oh, oh no, this is... Wait, you wouldn't recognize me? Do we know it? Do we know Dylan before? I'm sorry I kept you awake all this time. No, we're giving a gift to his grave. <gasps> Let's go. Wait, no, we... Wait, are we? Maybe one day we can talk, play, and dance. I hope we can. I hope we can, Dylan. Man, that's us talking. For now, I think that's us talking. To, for now, though, I'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we will. We'll be right. Oh, God. This is honestly such great storytelling. There we are. And there's... The gift that puts everything to riff. rest. The gift for the birthday. Ah, oh, there we are. There's us. There's Dylan. Yeah. Goodbye, pal. Oh my, I'm, I'm getting emotional at this, bro. I didn't think, I didn't think I would. Ah, oh, see you, Dylan. I know it. Oh, that was so... What's in the gift? What's in the box? Do we get to open it? Oh, it's a... It's a Fred bear. It's a... No, it's not, it's, not, it's a... It's a plush of the bear with a, with a letter. Do we have to see what the letter was? I want to see what the letter was. God damn it. Wait, that was the gift that was meant to be for his birthday. So the bonus content is first. Cast, thank you, and jump scares. So we have the cast here. We've got our Scorch Sid. That, his name, so yeah, it's, a, it's Sid the Beaver. I think he's a beaver. I'm pretty sure he's a beaver. Sid the Beaver, Scarlet the Cat. She must have been in the vents. I think we barely saw her. Yeah. Scorched Otto, Otto, Otto the Owl, Risky the Raccoon, Mabel the Ballerina, Scorched Dragmire, and Manifested Frank. 
Yes, because he's manifested. He's manifested guilt. Love that. We have a thank you. I want to thank everyone who's going to play my games or watched a video on them, maybe even clicked on the game page. Game development is my passion, one I would not would never have truly found for him if it wasn't for Scott Cawthon and the FNAF fan base. As a fan since 2014, it's been a long ride, and I hope to stay back with him for the rest. I'm like, you're never going to do another FNAF fan game. That's because I'm happy with what I put out. As you should be. But that was amazing. That was, honestly, creeping them. That was actually an emotional masterpiece. Like, fully. I, I was invested. I'm like, uh, I want to focus on game development as an actual job. If I can make at least one person happy with my product I put out and I'm already more than successful than I could have hoped. Goodbye for now. I hope you stick around. Thank you. Thank you, Creamy Dome. And we get a lovely thank you image. Oh, that's wonderful. That's, oh, that's uh, the wonderful. My heart. My heart can't take it. Oh, but seriously, f best of luck, Creamy Dome, with the future and everything. Because holy hell, I love this game. I, I, I love this game. It's so... It, it's got such a lovely story. Like, I mean, one thing I think fan games tend to lack uh, uh, out of the, the stuff, I, out of the ones I've all played, is sort of that emotional story that is at the heart of like the the first three FNAF fan games of having of to having to like f forgive but not forget. And I, I, like, especially with the happiest day in FNAF three. Oh, I love it. I, it's it's beautiful. It's it's honestly beautiful. But there's of course one last challenge here. Saturday night six max mode. Phone guy's gone. It's just us and the crew. It's everyone coming against us. So there's no cuss night, but there is a max mode, and that's the next best thing. I would think we do have the time to do so. I don't actually check how long we've gone through the video, but I do want to try and finish off the Saturday for the final challenge before we say goodbyes to find Sid Three. Honestly, no, no, I've, like even even if, even though I played like the first two nights of the second one, the fact that I was able to still maintain so like be so invested in the story shows great lengths as to how good it was. At least in my opinion, I honestly loved it. Uh, Oh, I, I really enjoyed it. I think I think the the power of Emily like forgiving herself. That's why she still still exists at the place, even after Phone Guy tells her to get out. And it's, it actually might be because of Phone Guy that she's actually able to help so. Because Phone Guy is the brother of Dylan, and even him is like, or even he is like, you know, it's not your it's not your fault. It's an accident. And because of that, we're actually able to to move on. And I love the fact that you. you you have that manifested Franklin, who's the representation of the guilt that uh, Emily feels throughout the course. You see him. Literally, you physically see him in your office throughout the course of the game. And you, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't torment you until night five, but you still see him. And it's so good. I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. Just the, the absolute passion and care you can tell what's put into this fan game and its story is, a, is immaculate. Like, honestly, I... I, I, could, I feel like I can't even actually give enough praise as it is because it, it just feels like I, it feels like any praise I give would not be able to describe how much I've enjoyed the the two ep the, the last episode and this episode of, of playing it honestly like I, the, like I don't, I don't think I can say anything else but thank you really just absolutely amazing on all fronts I love the story, the gameplay is pretty fun, the mechanics are pretty cool. I love the way the map breaks on Night 5 as well. You have a Night 5 boss battle. I am a sucker for FNAF boss battles. That is my thing. I'm going to boot it up actually on uh, to keep it up pretty high. I knew I knew that was going to happen. That was going to happen. Put that back down. Reduce that a bit. Wait for him to move in in a sec. I want to keep it close to 100 as possible while this guy's in the vent on the right. Just in case. Booyah! Told you that was gonna happen. Knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it. I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. I tell you that. But yeah, I just... Oh, it's just... It's just wonderful. Like, honestly, creeping them knocked out of the park. This one. Hey, Sid. I mean, I, you have to forgive me for calling the boy Dylan on night four, though. I don't know why I was doing that. Oh, hey, bro. I, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why. Like, I knew his name was Dylan. No, so I, you have to think of calling him Billy on night four. I don't know why I did that. Like, I knew his name was Dylan because I'd just seen the cutscene. The night four opening cutscene. And I just, like, forgot his name. 
which was just that just happens sometimes you just i'll be playing it it's always the names it is always the names that hap that happens to me it's like i'll be playing this fan game and the characters will say like okay this it's always a hu like i you know it's sometimes i was gonna say it's always the human characters but sometimes it's also the animatronics as well i'm just terrible with names it's like i'll be trying to okay no, that, that, that should come to our power a bit there um i'll be te i'm terrible with names i'll be like okay i gotta I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, remember this name, and then the characters will say it, like, instantly at the start of the night, and the moment the cutscene ends, I just immediately forget it, and we're back to, we're back to square zero. And it's like, how did I do that, you know? How, how, how did I somehow fail to remember the name that badly? I don't know, but somehow we were just that good. We're just, we're just too, we're too cracked at the calf. Perfect! That was a perfect pushback. Hi, 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 Mabel. Was it Mabel the... See, again, I, I want to say it was Mabel the ballerina. I'm going to say it was Mabel. I literally just looked at the extras menu before I started this night. So it, 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 better, it better be Mabel. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I'll prove my point beyond... <laughs> halfway and beyond. And it would it would have helped me no cause. But I think, I think we got this in the bag, i got to say. I've been rambling on this entire time, but I think we got this. So yeah, no, I think I, I think I briefly started to mention it earlier, but was cut off with the whole like bonus content. Uh, so night six was actually added on in a patch um, that just came out, which was which was very cool. So this is this is a oh that's a double attack, that's a double attack right there. Didn't know who, I didn't know how to deal with first. I had to pick one. I dealt with gate first because I figured I could put the gate on. I think that would that would be the best maneuver. I think gate always takes priority. Alright, red's about to move in there, so I'm gonna crank that up. Hi, gate. Let's go and crank that down. I don't need that over 100 until he actually moves in, though. You're gone. Is that the ballerina? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know how that worked. I took that off way too early. I took that off way too early. I should... I, <laughs> I took that off, I think, at the frame she attacked. So I'm not sure how that actually worked. Uh, but it did. It did. I'm going to blow that up because blue's seen there outside the vent. I'm pretty sure that's... Um, that's... Charlotte the cat? The cat. It's a cat one. I don't remember her name, but it's a cat one. Again, I've forgotten the name. But, Saturday is complete in approximately one second. I spent so long... Oh, whoa. I spent so long, so long looking at people I couldn't recognize. Cold and all alone. I've been awake too long. God, okay. I cried out loud, and you were the only one that heard. This is Dylan talking to us, I'm guessing. Thank you, Emily. Oh, because he was still stuck. He was still... I think he was still tied to... For not blaming yourself anymore. Yeah, okay. I, I, think, I think I get it now. I think I get it. God. See you, Dylan. It's... It's, it's, it's been a long time coming. But goodbye, pal. 6 a.m. Saturday night complete. Finds it since free, and there we are. The menu thing changes. Perfect. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna, I feel like going to the thank you screen's the best. I feel, I feel, I feel like ending on the thank you screen is probably the the best thing here because it just it just hits the powerful impact. But I think I'm starting. I think I think I get. I think I get the thing. I think so. Dylan was. Te was technically still tower oh, disappears. That was that was that was something. All right, we'll chill here on the menu screen then. Um, but I I, I think I'm starting again. Actually, no, I'll, I'll just keep I'll just keep hanging on to the thank you screen. We'll just we'll just, we'll just keep going. We're actually chill on the extras for a bit. Put our boys put our boy Scott Sid there. Actually, we'll chill with manifested Frank. He's pretty cool. But yeah, so because because we were still blaming ourselves for the death of Dylan. Dylan was soul was still attached to to to, to Frank. And so you had both that kind of physical aspect of Dylan's soul is physically possessing the animatronic of Frank, but you also have the emotional aspect, which I honestly love that there's two kind of parts of that possession, like that, that why Dylan's spirit is still there. Oh, but my God, what in the mate? What in the, oh, we didn't even see the I didn't even look at the jump scares. Oh my God, he just he charges you. I can't even miss the jump scares. I just I didn't I was too distracted by thank you message. He charges you from the office. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. 
I love these jump scares. Bro. The fact that... <laughs> I, love how, I love how Mabel's still sitting there and sits a jump scare. And of course, Master to Frank gets a good old spookiness. But freaking... Um... Uh, what's his name? Oliver the Owl? Is it Oliver the Owl? His jump scare's crazy. He just he just charges at you. Oh, Otto the Owl. Oh no, yeah. He just he just full on sprints at you and just head butts you head st straight forth. God, what a legendary. We actually have to finish. We didn't actually die. That's honestly impressive. I'm gonna take that. But yeah, that has been Fights and Sits Free by Creepingham. Be sure to check out the game in the description down below because holy hell, it is underrated. The original Fights and Sits 2, I think, like obviously it just came out, but the amount of views it's game has page for the quality of the fan game, it is not, it is not comparable. Like this game deserves more, more traction because I honestly loved it. It tells a beautiful story. It has so many cool features, and all of them just, it just, it just works together so perfectly. Like this might actually be one of my favorite fan games of all time. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I feel like with its story, particularly its story, one of the best fan game stories that I've ever. I think like it's it's on it's on it's on the level of, like with some of my favorites, because I was I despite the fact that I literally had not played the first two games and literally just read the summary at the start, the the recap the games provide you, I was emotionally invested in the game, which is crazy to think about just how well a job. Uh, uh, creeping them did. It, it, honestly, uh, words can't even describe how much I enjoy it. So we'll just we'll just we'll just do the outro. Um, that has been fun since it's free. That's four, five, and six. Hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. It was lovely. I'm excited to see what we cover next. Best of luck to. Actually, I feel like we have, okay, we have to end on the we have to end on the the thank you screen. Surely. Best of luck to creeping them in all his. Um, in all his future game development work, and you've definitely succeeded in making at least one person happy with a product you've put out, because I can say that I am safely very, very happy with Final Fantasy Sids 3 and how that turned out, because holy hell, I loved it. <laughs> that was that was great, in my opinion. Oh, it's, it, it, it's lovely, honestly. It, honestly, one one of the one of the best fan games I've played in terms of, in terms of pure passion. Like graphically speaking, yeah, sure, there are better fan games out there, but I, I think I think that this game was one of the, the the one that really nails the heart of what it means to be a FNAF fan game with an emotional, powerful story. A lovable, I love the phone guy, lovable phone guy. Phone guy is the best, one of the best phone guys as well. I loved phone guy. He was he was amazing. I honestly, I honestly loved him. The fact he comes into night four, night four after taking an edible is hilarious, and the fact that he realizes the truth on night five, and it, it doesn't turn like Fungo. I honestly thought Fungo was gonna die, and I honestly thought that. I'm, I'm honestly super glad he didn't, and I'm glad he discovered the truth and didn't turn against us. It wasn't like oh, Phone Guy's the enemy now. It Phone Guy understood more than we did that it wasn't our fault because we were, we were a child at the time. Ah. Oh, I could go about this game for forever, but I think we're going to have to end it. I've been the Pokemon Noob. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out the game down below in the description. It deserves all the love in the world. Thank you so much, Creepingdom. Uh, anyway, I've been the Pokemon Noob. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.